Hey guys, how's it going? We're gonna be doing a character Q&A three. So this is the behind the scenes and you're about to see me get mad, upset, happy, laugh at my own jokes, and a plethora of other things. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, for the scene, we got our watermelon seeds ready because we're gonna start it with Blueglis Lucius. I just gotta get my thing pulled up here. I gotta keep my phone on the charger or else it's gonna die watching the, uh, or like reading the questions the whole time. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy, Black Yoshi, and we're gonna be doing another caricature Q&A number three real good. And the first question that we're gonna answer is for your boy, Black Yoshi. So let's get with it. All right, so the first question is, Black Yoshi, if you can't read, then why did you read a comment by yourself? Well, you see, man, it's very easy, Mr. Anthony. Well, you see, folks, man, it was really easy once I was told to just sound out the words. So once I sound out the words, then I just be, be, able, be able to read really, really so, so good. Well, man, you know, it's actually really easy. Once you start sounding out the words, then reading just become really easy. So that's how I learned how to read the comments really good. Bunny feet, no. Bunny feet's eating, so we'll wait. Black Yoshi, where can I get those watermelon seeds? <laughs> from, from the store? From the store? Jeffy, how do you like your hoes? Chocolate with a fat ass. I'm talking whoosh. Major key alert. I got them key, them key, them key, them key, them keys. Blow on my poop pump 69. <laughs> Jackie Chu, I need some meow cat and some roof dog. A hundred billion fortune cookie. Well, all you gotta do is call Ring Ring and then she bring you some. Just you gotta say, I want some yum yum cat meow and yum yum dog roof and then yum 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 fortune cookie and then I'll have it right there to you. Oh, fresh cat. Fresh cat. <laughs> well, little bit. Well, Mr. Well, little deadly wolf donkey. Question for Shrek. What is the best part about Krim Krim? Certainly, Krim cheese kick. Well, little deadly wolf 445 donkey, the best part of the creamy, of the Sara Lee just mushing around in my mouth and then down my esophagus into my bowels and then it just ruptures my butthole, little donkey. That is the best part about the creamy cream, cream cheese, cheese cake. Jeffy, what's your favorite toy?
My cat piano is my favorite toy. That's a good question. Jeffy, would you eat your green beans if they tasted like chocolate cake? Ribbit. Buddy Fee, dude. Stop. Jeffy, when you eat your green beans and they tasted like chocolate cake, um, maybe, but then they wouldn't be green beans. The only reason I don't like green beans is because they taste bad and they look like boogers. So, if green beans taste like chocolate cake, I just might eat them. Ninja Lego Warrior, thank you, Agro Warriors. They are super dumb. Dumb, 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 Boy Bill, dumb. Jeffy, dumb. Junior, dumb. Cody, dumb. Joseph, dumb. They are dumb. Jackie Chu, there's a fry behind you. <laughs> Jeffy, how fat are your hoes? Fatter than shit, buddy. My hoes are fatter than shit. Anybody got the anybody got the collar do this with the big things? Mario, please! Hey Blake Yoshi, can you eat? Hey, Black Yoshi, can you eat that booty like groceries? Man, wahaba haba boom boom. Man, let me show you. <laughs> Jeffy, did you survive No Nut November? I didn't survive No Nut November. Not a change. Nope. Uh, nope. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I didn't do it. Uh-uh. For Black Yoshi, you're my favorite character. P.S. Jeffy, what drugs is Mario taking? Honestly, I think he's on a little bit of all of it, but his favorite is definitely crack. He just won't put the crack pipe down! <laughs> That's daddy. That's a good shit, Jeffy! I'm like, Daddy, you need to put the crack down. It's not good for you. And he's like, Jeffy, go in your room. I'm like, all right, Daddy. If you don't want to put the crack pipe down, then I'm just looking out for you. What do you want for Christmas this year, Black Yoshi? Well, all I want for Christmas is for... Well, all I want for Christmas is fried chicken, the mad pigs, a new college do this, and a new college do the console that's supposed to be coming out for Christmas. It's supposed to have a Santa Claus on it. And, uh, and if you can spare it, I guess I'll take some new shoes, or just maybe a Visa gift card for about four or five dollars. Oh, I just so sure hope that Santa Claus can make a miracle this year. And, uh... Hey! No! Hey, Goodman! What would happen if I pooped on your balls? Well, AJ, if you pooped on my balls, then I'm gonna use your ball sack flap to wipe off all the poop off my balls. What do you think about... Stop it. Baby, come on, dude. Well, AJ, if you pooped on my balls, then I'm gonna use your ball sack flap to wipe all the poop off my balls. What do you think about that, AJ? Shrek, have you ever stolen any cheesecake because Donkey wouldn't get you any? Oh, little Donkey, you shouldn't have brought up my evil past. Uh, there has been a couple times where I just have such a hardcore addiction and Donkey won't get me any cheesecake. So I had to go to the store and then shove it up my butt and then walk through the cash register and act like I paid but I didn't. Uh, Donkey, I'm so sorry, Donkey. Please forgive me. Yeah, hot in it, bit boy. Why you boo sitting? They're at Hobart. Dear Jeffrey, 
Where are the hoes at? They're probably up at Hobart. I just gotta go get me some. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Do you wipe or let it crust? Crust the crust. Crust the crust! Pizza crust. Oh, I broke my balls! Oh, I broke my back! Ow, my back. Ow, my balls. Ow, my neck. Goodman, what would you do if I sawed my couch in half? You would be evicted as f Get the f out. You're evicted as f Blow on my poop pipe 69. Hey! Baggy gats. Wham. Goodman, I have moon balls. You only have water. Well played. Well played. Goodman, I have moon balls. You only have watermelon balls. Oh yeah? Well, I in fact do have watermelon balls, but I've been diagnosed with elephantitis of my ball sack. I have the largest balls known to man on Earth. If you have moon balls, then you're on some extraterrestrial shit, and you need to get that shit looked at. Breaking news, and good. I am now going to take Z-Wolf's balls for missing his house payment. More on the story as it develops. Hey guys, how's it going? This is the behind the scenes look at Goodman's ball soup, which is actually hilarious. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on in order to make Goodman's ball soup. In case you wanna make it at home, don't recommend it even though I haven't tried it yet because this is the first time that I'm even doing it. We got Goodman right there on the counter. I'm just waiting on the refrigerator to stop making the noise. I could turn it off, but I don't wanna turn it off because last time I turned it off, it ruined the entire lot of food that was in the refrigerator and Audrey got mad. Let's take a look and see how to make Goodman's ball soup. You start with a big pot like this with water and we're gonna heat it up until it's boiling. Then we're gonna take one and two thirds cup of cream. Goodman calls it fresh ball cream, but what it really is, is muscle milk. This is Audrey's muscle milk that she ordered because she tried it at the gym one time and said she liked it. So then she decided to order a bunch of them and she hasn't used them. Also in the video, he says you gotta use a creamy tomato base. This is Campbell's creamy tomato soup that Audrey had at the old apartment but never used it. So what Goodman says is, is that he heats this to a rolling boil and then you add one and two thirds cup of ball cream. I think I'm actually gonna make that two cups because one and two thirds cup is kind of weird. So I'm gonna say two cups of ball cream, one cup per ball. <laughs> And then you gotta add some creamy tomato soup as your base to your ball soup. Now, what we're using for balls, Audrey went to Publix and got me these lovely meatballs. Goodman's gonna say two, or a plate of fresh balls. That's what we're dealing with. Fresh balls, home, so shit. My balls just dropped. My balls just dropped, guys, at 25. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew 25 was the age that my balls were gonna drop? <laughs> I had to throw the balls in the sink because uh, they fell on the floor. So, after I film the scene of Goodman making the ball soup, then I'm gonna try it, and I hope I don't throw up, because if I throw up, I'm gonna be upset. If I throw up, I'm gonna be upset, because I have a whole video that I have to film. I think I'm about halfway done and that's me being positive. So I think I'm actually one third done because I have a bunch of questions left over and I still gotta film the ball soup scene. So we'll see what we can get. I look absolutely terrible, I've had a bad day, but that's okay, we gotta stay smiling and we gotta stay unmatched. I'll see you guys when we start trying the ball soup. All right, this is how I make my, this is how I make my world famous ball soup. First thing you have to do is make sure your water is at a rolling boil. After it's at a boil, you need two cups of fresh ball cream. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous ball soup. First thing you gotta do is get your water to a rolling boil. Then you need two cups of fresh ball cream and you're gonna pour it right in to the boiling water. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous ball soup. So the first thing you gotta do, you gotta get your water to a rolling boil, just like this. Then you need two cups 
a fresh ball cream. And the ball cream is gonna go right in to the boiling water. Once you've poured the ball cream into the boiling water, then you need to get one cup of your favorite tomato cream soup. Then you need to get one cup of your favorite tomato base. And you're gonna pour that right into your milk, right into your water and your cream mixture. And then last but not least, the main ingredient, fresh ball. Once that's all in the pot, you're just gonna stir it around. I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous, I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous ball soup. First thing you gotta do is get your pot of, first thing you gotta do is get your pot of water to a rolling boil. Then you have to add two cups of fresh ball cream. So you have my ball cream right here. And you're just gonna pour it into your pot of boiling water and let that come to a boil. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make my world famous ball soup. So the first thing you have to do is get your pot of water to a rolling boil, just like this. Then you need two cups of fresh ball cream, just like this. You're gonna take your two cups of fresh ball cream and you're gonna pour it right into your boiling water, just like that. You set your cup to the side. Next you need your favorite tomato base. One cup of it. One cup of your favorite tomato base poured right into the mixture. Then, last but not least, the main ingredient. Fresh balls from your victim. And you're just gonna plop them right into the mixture, just like that. Then, once your mixture is complete, you're gonna take you a big ass spoon, and you're just gonna stir it all up, just like this. And within 15 to 20 minutes, ball soup is served. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but it totally splashed on me. But I'm gonna let that cook, and once I'm sure that that's to a boil, I'm gonna stir it, pull it out, and then see if we're good to go to try it. Okay, this is gonna be absolutely disgusting. You got this mixture, and I don't know if I mentioned or not, but the muscle milk is cookies and cream flavored. So we have water, cookies and cream muscle milk, meatballs and uh, Campbell's tomato creams or creamy tomato soup. This is going to be disgusting. <laughs> and there's one of the meatballs right there. How disgusting. It kind of smells like hot chocolate. It's alive. <laughs> Ew. All right guys, I'm gonna get this plated. And I'll see you in a second. All right, guys. Like I said, I promised you I would try. I would promise you. I promise you that I would try it. I, uh, I don't want to because I don't even know if the meatballs are are fully cooked. I'll probably get one that is that was that was that there. I'll probably get a meatball that was at the bottom. But now this is extremely watery. It's been boiled, so and everything in it is edible. So I feel like I'm gonna be fine. But I don't. I really don't want to throw up because I have been feeling bad all day, but I powered through to film this video for you guys and it smells so bad. It smells so bad. Oh, no, I don't know that I can do this. Oh my God. <laughs> I wish you guys could tell me not to do this, but I have to. I have to do it. And the sooner I do it, I mean, the sooner I do it, the sooner I can get out of this. I can stop. I'm not eating a whole meatball, just to let you guys know. I'm taking a bite, and if it's bad, I'm spitting it out. I'm trying to get like a chunk, just like enough to just a taste. I wish I could just do it all in one and then just get it over with, but it's gonna be hot and it's gonna burn the roof of my mouth. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm getting the, Ugh. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of liquid. All right, guys, this is, this is the, the bite that I'm gonna take. It smells so bad. Oh God, it smells so bad. <laughs> you have no idea how bad this smells. Oh God, please, please someone stop me. Stop me from doing this. 
Okay, no, no, no. The more you smell it, the more you smell it, the more, like it's making my stomach just, rawr, just smelling it. So here we go. <coughs> no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh, no, I can't. I can't do that. I tried it and it, it as soon as it was in my mouth, it was like a, a wet sponge. <clears throat> you guys have had spaghetti and probably milk if you're not lactose intolerant and meatballs. Imagine mixing all of those things together and then water to water it down. And then it's just, it's like a dirty sponge after spaghetti night and you clean out the bowl. That's what that tastes like. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section. Tell me how bad of an idea it was to try that. That was absolutely disgusting. Do not try that at home. It was muscle milk, meatballs, and Campbell's creamy tomato soup, and then boiling hot water, which was disgusting. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Your boy, Jeffrey, is out. <laughs>